Next what we're going to look at is basically how to convert from radians to degrees and vice versa. So it should be good, hopefully we can figure it out. Uh, in this system to be able to convert from radians to degrees or vice versa what we've got to do is we've got to find two things that are equal to each other. So we're going to use conversion factors and conversion factors are basically an equal unit an equal distance or an equal time or whatever it might be in two different units. So when we're talking about radians and degrees they have to measure the same thing but have different units to represent those. So you know one example would be three feet is equal to or yeah three feet is equal to one yard so that's kind of a, an, a, a something we can use to come up with a conversion factor. Now, as you can see we've got one, two, three, four, five different things to use our nice little um, conversion factor for. We can't use this because a conversion factor is actually going to be a fraction so we don't want to divide by zero so we can't use that one. Since our conversion factor is going to be a fraction we don't want to use nine degrees and pi halves or 270 and 3 pi halves because we're going to end up with a uh, nice little complex fraction. So that leaves us 180 is equal to pi or 360 is equal to 2 pi. Well this is the one that's actually going to give us um, the easiest route because what we're going to do is th if we use 360 and 2 pi we can simplify that fraction. So let's see if we can't use that. Uh, converting what we're going to do is we're going to go from degrees to radians. So remember pi is equal to 180 are going to be uh, the values we're going to use our con for our conversion factor. So let's see if we can't look at a couple. Alright, so uh, let's do 240 degrees and negative 135. Now in your conversion factor, uh, if you see the degree symbol then you're talking about degrees. If there is no degree symbol then obviously you're talking about radians. So kind of keep that in mind as you're dealing with your angles. So in our conversion factor, we want the degrees to cancel. So you've done this before. So for to cancel, if this is in the numerator, we need to put degrees in our denominator. That means the equivalent to 180 degrees will go on top. The degree symbols obviously will cancel. Uh, we can divide both of them by 10. That will leave us 24 and 18. We can divide both of them by 6. So that will be 4 and 3. So we get 4 pi thirds. Now when we're expressing radian measure, unless they tell you to write it as a decimal, you're expected to write it as a fraction. We don't use mixed fractions, we use improper fractions. So 4 pi thirds is the correct way to denote 240 uh, degrees uh, in terms of pi, in radian measure in terms of pi. So now we're going to convert this one, same thing, we're starting with degrees, so degrees will be on the bottom and pi will be on the top. So this will cancel. Uh, 45 will actually go into both of these. This is going to end up with 4 uh, and this will be 3 45s. If you start with a negative degree angle then you're going to end up with a negative radian angle. So this is going to be negative 3 pi fours. So that's basically how to convert from degrees to radians. Remember in your conversion factor degrees go on the bottom so they cancel and radians on the top. Look at our next example. Whoops, I didn't erase these. So, negative 7 pi fours. And then this one is 2 pi thirds. Now, these are both written in terms of pi, but you could easily have something like 2 radians uh, that would also represent the same thing. So, now what we're doing is we're converting from radians to degrees. So we'll do a very similar method. We're going to use the same conversion factor in the sense that we're using the same units that are equal to each other. But now, since we're starting with radians, radians has to go in our denominator. So we'll set up our conversion factor to look like this. As you can see, the pi's cancel. Uh, 3 will go on itself once. So we'll go into 80, 180, 60 times. So we get 120 degrees. Looking at the next one, we'll do the same thing since we're starting with radians. Radians go in the denominator of our conversion factor. Degrees go on the top. Here you can see the pi's will cancel. 4 will go on itself once. We'll come to 80 45 times. When you multiply 7 times that, you get 315 degrees. Since our radian measure was negative, our degree measure will also be negative. 